Thank you very much for coming. Since I'm, I'm in Connecticut, I'm going to do a piece that I wrote in Connecticut. So as you know, uh, there's a uh, small town uh, by I-91, I uh, uh, Hamden. Um, there are two mountains. Uh, one has a round shape, and next to the round one, there's a longer one. And these two mountains are connected, and people call it Sleeping Giant, right? And the next Sleeping Giant, there's a university, uh, Quinnipiac University. And one of the professors there, uh, whose name is Luis, uh, Luis is originally from Argentina, and he's been here in Connecticut for many years, and we became friends because he kept coming to my shows whenever I play in Connecticut. And a uh, couple years ago, I was playing shows in New Hampshire and Vermont, and he knew that I was up in the area, so he called me up and he said, uh, uh, do you have time to stop by on your way back home to uh, New York City? So I decided to stop by Hamden, where he uh, lived, and me and him did a uh, trail walking uh, through Sleeping Giant. And it was uh, this time of the year, a cold day in December, but uh, it was a, a beautiful experience for me. And a few weeks later, <coughs> uh, I received a package from him. And when I opened the box, uh, there were four thick books about Sleeping Giant. And Luis enclosed a letter and he wrote that uh, I am personally very attached to this place. And also, this is an important place for Quinnipiac University, too. So I want to ask you a favor. <coughs> I want you to compose a piece about this mountain. But uh, <coughs> before you compose, you have to study about this place. <coughs> and uh, it was pretty di difficult to read, but uh, I try my best to read those books he sent. <coughs> And I learned that uh, this place was originally a sacred place of uh, native people living there back then. And their name is Habamok people, so I named this piece as Habamok Sleeping Giant. <laughs>
Rito, 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 Rito. Thank <laughs> you.